because of the word that I want to share that it may be life and encouragement to my listeners in Jesus name praise the Lord I want to share with you the word of God entitled the faithfulness of God we are known by God before we are born or even formed in our mother's womb. Just like he told Jeremiah in chapter 1 verse 5, that before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nations. God called us even before we came into this world. Before we knew him, he had already called and ordained us for his purpose. So God is our father. He is faithful by nature. He does not change. In Malachi chapter 3 verse 6 he says, I change not. He is a promise keeper. We see this revealed in Genesis chapter 12 when he called Abraham from his father's land, uh, father's home and father's people. He told him to live and he would bless him and he would show him a land where he was going to settle. So God called Abraham and made a covenant to him and his descendants in advance. In Genesis chapter 15, verse 1 to 2, the Bible says, After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision saying, Do not be afraid, Abraham. I am your shield and exceedingly great reward. But Abraham said, Lord God, what will you give me, seeing I go childless, and the heir of my house is Eliaza of Damascus? You know, Abraham had been told that he would be made a great nation. But time elapsed. And he wondered how he was going to be a father of nations, how people would be blessed through him. But we find that God appears, or he sends his word, and tells him not to fear, because he was his shield and exceedingly great reward. But Abraham being a human being like us, when you've been given a promise and it takes time, you begin questioning yourself and wondering whether what was told to you would come to pass. So Abraham asked God what to do when he went childless. He had no child and yet he was to be a father of nations. God being faithful assured him that one who will come from his own body or loins shall be his heir despite the delay. He took Abraham outside to, if, to count the stars if he was able. So would his descendants be so Abraham did not get a child immediately after this encounter with God. But first in many challenges, when you read Genesis chapter 16, the challenge was there. His wife referred him to her Egyptian maid servant, Hagar. And Abraham took Hagar 
and she conceived and bore him a son named Ishmael. At that time, Abraham was 86 years old. Still, God did not acknowledge Ishmael as the promised descendant of Abraham. At the age of 99, that is in Genesis chapter 17, God appeared to Abraham and made a covenant with him and he told him he was going to change his name to be called Abraham from Abraham because he was going to be a father of nations and that he was going to make him a father of many nations and he would make him exceedingly fruitful and nations would come out of him. So God saw Israel, the Israelites in Abraham at this time. The Bible says God knows our end from the beginning. So we find that God being faithful and a promise keeper, he did not leave Abraham childless forever. But in Genesis chapter 18, verse 10, God visits Abraham and he declares that Sarah, your wife, shall have a son in the tent door which was behind him. And now Abraham and Sarah were old, well advanced in age, and Sarah had passed the age of childbearing. Then Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I have grown old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord being old also? And the Lord said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I surely bear a child, since I am old? Is anything too hard? For the Lord. Brethren, dear friends, the God we serve, the maker of heaven and earth, is not unable to bless us even at the age that man imagines we are not able to be fruitful anymore. And so we find God making a promise, a fifth promise to Abraham that at such, a, uh, at such a time next year, your wife will bear a son. The wife did not believe it, but she had no otherwise but to agree with what God said. And in Genesis 21, verse 2, the Bible tells us that uh, for Sarah conceived and bore Abraham a son in his old age, at the set time of which God had spoken to him, and Abraham called the name of the son who was born to him whom Sarah bore to him, Isaac. I thank God because this showed and proved the faithfulness of God. God is also visiting you, my listener, despite the circumstances around you. Do not look at what people are saying. Do not look at the impossibilities in your life, but only believe in the God who keeps his word. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 9, the Bible assures us that God is faithful by whom you are called into the fellowship of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Believe with me because 
whoever has called us, whoever has saved us, is faithful. He's meeting your need. In the coming year, at such a time as you believe, you will hold your miracle. You will smile and remember that the Lord was addressing your issue. Thank you for believing that there's nothing impossible with God. As I conclude, I request you to have faith in the God who keeps his covenant, who keeps his word, who keeps his promises. He is doing it unto you. Whatever he has said, through whichever means, through his word, through a dream, through a prophet, he is going to fulfill that which he has said. Believe with me as I pray for you. Beloved Father, in Jesus' name, this is your word. Your word carries life. May my listener that is believing in this word receive his, receive her miracle that you have promised him or her so that Lord, glory, honor may be back to you. I thank you because I know it is established in Jesus' name.